Okay, class. So, let me just again give you another example for our theorem number 5, which is product rule. Okay, again, we have the mnemonics or pattern for theorem number 5, which is product rule. Para mas madali nating maalala yung formula natin. So, f prime of x is equal to left, the right, plus right, the left. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng left, the right, plus right, the left na yan? So, again, uh, like for example, we have this given function. This is your left multiplied by the right. So, that is the derivative of right plus right. So, yun. Then, derivative of left. So, para mas maintindihan natin, okay, again, let's have an example. Let us differentiate the function, the quantity 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 times the quantity 3x squared minus 4. So, applying theorem number 5, which is product rule, and then applying our mnemonics. So, again, copy lang muna natin yung ating function. So, we have f of x. So, that is 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 times the quantity 3x squared minus 4. Then, applying our theorem, so, we have left, tinapi ko lang sila, so, ito yun, times the right, so, we have derivative of right, yun, then plus, ayun, then right, okay, so, we have 3x squared minus 4, times derivative of left, so, ito yun, we have 3x squared minus 5x plus 1, and then, simplify lang natin, so, ayan, as is lang muna, copy lang natin, you have 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. Then, get the derivative of your right, which is 3x squared minus 4. Okay, kunin natin yung derivative of 3x squared minus 4. So, yan ay magiging 6x. So, in-apply natin yung ating previous theorem, which is uh, constant multiple rule and then uh, constant rule. So, ibababa ko lang si 2, mamultiply ko kay 3, kaya naging... 6x and then magma minus 1 ako kay 2 kaya 6x na lang natira and then the derivative of a constant is always 0 kaya 6x na lang yung natira then plus ito naman sa kabila so binaba ko lang si 3x squared minus 4 and then get the derivative of 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 so again applying the previous theorem natin so we have 3x squared Again, applying the constant multiple rule, ibaba ko lang si 2, multiply ko kay 3, kaya naging 6x, and then, minus 1 ako kay 2, kaya naging 6x na lang. Nandito naman kay minus 5x, the, uh, again, na-apply uh, ko ay constant multiple rule, then automatic itong x ay merong exponent na 1, so 1 minus 1, so that is 0, so x raised to 0 is 1, then times 5, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng negative 5. Then, 1, derivative of 1 is always 0. Again, the derivative of constant is always 0. Then, uh, distribute lang natin 6x dito. Then, ito rin yung dalawang binomial. So, we have 6x times 3x squared. So, that will be 18x cubed. Then, 6x times 5x. So, that we have negative 30x squared. Then, 6x times positive 1. That's why we have 6x. Then, ito naman. We have 6x times 3x squared, that is 18x cubed. Then 6x times negative 4, we have negative 24x. And then negative 5 times 3x squared, that is negative 15x squared. Then negative 5 times negative 4, that is positive 20. And then uh, combining like terms, pag samasamayan lang natin lahat ng similar terms. Okay, and then arrange according to uh, rule natin sa polynomials. So we have 18x cubed. Plus 18x cubed, that is 36x cubed. And then we have negative 30x squared plus negative 15x squared. So we have negative 45x squared. And then 6x plus, alam ba ba? 6x plus negative 24x, so that is negative 18x, then plus 20. So f prime of x is equal to 36x cubed minus 45 x squared minus 18x plus 20. So this is the final answer applying our theorem number 5 which is product rule. Okay, so proceed tayo with last theorem which is quotient rule.
Okay, so we are done already with sum and difference rule and then product rule. Now, let's proceed now with theorem number 6 which is quotient rule which involves uh, division. Okay, so let's define what is quotient rule. Okay, so if f of x and g of x are both differentiable functions at x with g of x is not equal to 0, then we have d over dx of f of x over g of x is equal to again ang formula natin for quotient rule we have g of x ito yun, times the derivative of f of x minus f of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x all over g of x or all over g of x squared or square of the g of x ngayon uh, para mas madaling natin siyang maalala, we have also uh, arrived with a mnemonics. Okay, so that is low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So again, parehas lang tong uh, mnemonics na yan sa formula na to. Okay, na gumamit lang tayo ng mnemonics para mas madaling natin maalala or ma-memorize yung ating formula. So again, we have low. Ito lang din yun, si g of x times d high which is the derivative of f of x minus i, which is yung ating f of x, multiplied by d low, so that is derivative of low, which is derivative of uh, g of x all over low squared, so that is g of x squared. Okay, para ma-apply natin, so let's have an example. So let us find the derivative of x squared plus 3 all over 5x plus 4. So, applying our formula or our mnemonics, so we have low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So, again, gawin natin. So, since ang given natin ng function ay naka-express as f of x, obviously, ang gagamitin natin na uh, notation for our derivative is f prime of x. So, gawin natin. So, we have low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So, we have f prime of x minus low so, we have 5x plus 4 multiplied by d high. So, we have x squared plus 3. So, that is derivative of x squared plus 3 minus, so ito yun, and then high, which is x squared plus 3 multiplied by derivative of low. So, we have d low, which is, ito yun, 5x plus 4. That's why we had d over dx of the quantity 5x plus 4 all over low squared. So, we have 5x plus 4, then squared. And simplify lang natin. Okay, so we have 5x plus 4, copy lang natin, then get the derivative of x squared plus 3. So, again, applying our previous theorem, so ano yung apply natin dito? So, we have uh, power rule. So, ibaba ko lang si 2, kaya magiging 2x, and then the derivative of constant is always 0, kaya ang matitira na lang ay 2x. Then, copy natin yung operation which is minus. And then, we also have x squared plus 3. So, as is lang muna yan, copy lang natin. Then, we get the derivative of 5x plus 4. So, we have uh, constant multiple rule. Automatic merong uh, exponent na 1. So, kung ibababa natin siya, 5 pa rin. And then, kung mag-minus ako ng 1 kay 1, obviously, that is 0. So, magiging x raised to 0 which is 1 times 5. Kaya, naging 5 na lang then the derivative of a constant is always 0. Then all over 5x plus 4 squared. So, ikakapi lang natin yan. Then simplify natin. So, i-distribute ko ko si 2x kay 5x plus 4. So, we have 2x plus uh, or times 5x, so we have 10x squared. And then 2x times 4, we have 8x. Then minus 5 times x squared, so we have 5x squared. Then 5 times 3, we have 15, all over 5x plus 4 squared. And then simplify lang natin. So as you can see, we have the operation na minus. Huwag natin kakalimutang i-distribute sa loob yung ating minus. Or our negative sign. So we have 10x squared plus 8x. Then negative 5 or negative times 5x squared. So we have negative 5x squared. Then negative 5 times positive 15 so, we have negative 15 all over 5x plus 4 squared, or the quantity 5x plus 4 
squared then simplify lang natin let us combine our like terms so we have 10x squared minus 5x squared we have 5x squared and then 8x wala naman tayo mga combine sa kanya so just as is with that and then minus 15 all over 5x plus 4 squared so again this is now our final answer we have f prime of x is equal to 5x squared plus 8x minus 15 all over 5x plus 4 squared. So, applying our quotient rule. Okay, again, kung sa tingin nyo, mas madali nyong ma-memorize yung ating uh, formula for quotient rule using our mnemonics which is low d high minus high d low or over low squared. So, okay naman kayo nyo namin ito. Okay, so let's have another example. Okay, so let's have another example for theorem number 6, which is quotient rule. Okay, let us find the derivative of 3x squared plus 4, all over 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. So again, apply lang natin yung mnemonics natin. We have low d high minus high d low, all over low squared. So since ang given natin ng function ay naka-express as f of x, so the derivative will be expressed as f prime of x. Okay, so again, follow lang natin yung ating formula or yung ating mnemonics. So, we have low, which is 5x squared minus 3x plus 12, uh, plus 2, multiplied by derivative of high. So, we have derivative of 3x squared plus 4 minus high. We have 3x squared plus 4 times derivative of low. We have 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. All over low squared, so we have 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 squared. And then simplify lang natin. So we have 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, so again, the derivative of 3x squared plus 4. So applying constant multiple rule, so we have 6x since 2 times 3, so we have two, uh, 6x. And then the derivative of 4 is always 0, kaya wala na siya. So 6x na lang yun. And then minus 3x squared plus 4 times the derivative of 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. So again, dito, kunya rin derivative nito. So applying constant multiple rule. So we have 10x and then yung minus 3x natin magiging 3 na lang. And then yung 2 magiging 0 na kaya. Ang matitira ay 10x minus 3 na lang. And then all over, ngayon pa rin, 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. Squared. And then simplify lang natin, distribute natin si 6x dito sa quantity na to, ganun din itong dalawa. Okay, so we have 6x times 5x squared, we have 30x cubed, and then 6x times negative 3x, so we have negative 18x squared. And then 6x times 2, we have 12x. And then ganun din dito, we have 10x times 3x squared, we have 30x cubed. And then 10x times 4, we have 40x. Then... 10x times 3x squared, we have 9x, uh, huh? Again, 10x times, uh, negative 3 times 3x squared, we have negative 9x squared. And then negative 3 times 4, we have negative 12. Then simplify lang ulit natin. We have 30x squared minus 18x plus 12x. And then distribute natin yung minus sa quantity na to. We have negative times 30x cubed. We have negative 30x cubed. Negative times 40x. We have negative 40x. Then negative times negative 9x squared. Kaya meron tayong positive 9x squared. Then negative times negative 12. We have positive 12. And then cancel natin lahat ng posibleng makancel. And then combine lang, na, or combine lang natin yung ating like terms. So we have 30x cubed minus negative 30x cubed. Kaya makakancel siya. Then negative 18x squared plus... Positive 9x squared, so obviously that will be negative 9x squared. And then we also have positive 12x plus negative 40x, kaya ang matitira na lang ay si negative 12x. And then plus 12, all over 5x squared minus 3x plus 12x squared. Okay, so this, is will, this will be our final answer. We have f prime of x is equal to negative 9x squared minus 28x plus 12 all over the square of the quantity 5x squared minus 3x plus 12. Okay, so that will be the last theorem for uh, 
basic theorems in uh, differentiation. So again, if you have question, kindly ask me through our group chat via Messenger. Okay, so that will be all for this lesson.